The Volkswagen Passat is often overlooked in the mid-size sedan segment by many competitors like the Honda Accord and Toyota Camry. And it's a shame because the Passat is the roomiest and is the only one in the class that provides European flavor inside and out at the price of a mainstream mid-sizer. So to steal a little more market share, Volkswagen had to do a much needed update of the Passat and even though it isn't a full redesign, it's enough to make it much more competitive this time around. So, Let's go ahead and check out this 2016 Volkswagen Passat. Now first things first, the new Passat gets refreshed exterior styling and interior styling too. Now if you want to notice the difference between the 2015 and the 2016, you really have to start off with the headlights. On higher end trim levels, you do get LED daytime running lights now. And the 2016 Passat has a more chiseled appearance, a more streamlined look too. Now we do get these okay looking 17 inch alloy wheels on our SE model we have here with the technology package. Overall the styling of the Passat is very handsome and has clean cut German looks which you would expect out of a Volkswagen. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. It's a typical Volkswagen key fob. You have your remote keyless entry, your unlock lock to release your trunk and then you have a switchblade too which is a nice little nifty touch. Now this color is known as the Platinum Gray Metallic color. And I love how the doors in the Passat close with a nice solid thunk. Just feels very well constructed. One thing I love about Volkswagens. And on the interior you have black leatherette seating surfaces. Power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar too. Now stepping inside, the interior has been refreshed and you have the new infotainment system from Volkswagen. You also do have a new steering wheel with Volkswagen's latest steering wheel design language. And some other panels inside of here have been tweaked a little bit to be a little bit more stylish. And I love this wood trim that we get inside of here. The cabin of the Passat no longer feels austere and they really spiced up things a little bit with this wood trim. It's a very luxurious cabin too. Now you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, you have a six speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability too. Putting the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines. No trajectory, however. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards too. You also do have an automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors, and you do have blind spot detection, which is a new feature for 2016. And you also do have LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. Halogen headlights, with halogen daytime running lights, and your fog lights as well. Now powering the Passat here, we have a pretty powerful yet fuel efficient 1.8 liter turbocharged inline 4 cylinder that produces 170 horsepower at 4800 RPM and 184 pound feet of torque at 1500 RPM with EPA estimates being a top of the class, 25 in the city and 38 on the highway. Excellent fuel economy numbers, especially for how large this vehicle is. Now overall, you will find that this powertrain does provide a decent amount of power, especially for how fuel efficient it is. And then, the Passat is also front wheel drive too. And it does run on regular unleaded fuel, which is nice. 17 inch alloy wheels. Now competitors of the Passat, you have the vehicles in the mid-size sedan class, of course. 
This includes the likes of the Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, Chrysler 200, Ford Fusion, Chevrolet Malibu, Nissan Altima, Subaru Legacy, as well as the Mazda 6. But the Passat is the only one that's European. Coming to the rear, we also do have a rear window defroster, shark fin antenna, and a LED third brake light. And you also do have rear reflectors down here, and your new refreshed tail lights. EPA estimates, like I said, are 25 in the city and 38 on the highway. Total vehicle price is $29,465. Of course, all of your basic powered features, power windows, power door locks, and your power mirrors. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Very nice. Now, build quality and materials have always been pretty good in the Passat, and it's pretty much the same here. Still excellent build quality and materials. Pretty good for the class. Um, up here we have your nice soft touch upper door panels. Mid door panels are soft touch as well as the armrest. Dashboard is this nice softly padded material, the whole entire dashboard too. Um, down here it's a hard touch plastic, but the graining of the plastic is pretty nice. And build quality is excellent. Interior trim and pieces don't creak a whole lot. They fit pretty well together. Overall, this is a very well constructed interior, which you would expect out of a German vehicle. Now, coming to the steering wheel design, like I said, I really love the new steering wheel design language of Volkswagens. Um, it's really nice with the black trim coming down here and it spices up things a little bit. But right here you have your cruise control. We also do have adaptive cruise control which is a new feature for 2016. You have your Bluetooth phone controls, voice recognition, all that good stuff and your controls for your information center right there. The steering wheel also does manually tilt and telescope with a decent range of adjustment. I would like a little more range of adjustment for the tilting, but overall it's not too shabby. Telescoping is really good though. As far as visibility goes in the Passat, it's excellent. Lots of glass area all around, and you won't find a sloping roof line or anything of that nature, so seeing out of the rear is pretty easy. There's lots of glass area. The Passat is one of the easiest vehicles in the midsize sedan class to see out of. And then the A pillars are very thin, the bases are pretty thin too. Overall, seeing how this vehicle is excellent. Up here we also do have your auto dimming rearview mirror and I love the shape of it. It's been redesigned for the 2016 model year too. You have your map lights up here, sunglass container, SOS safety connect, and then your sunroof controls with the sliding shade and a little wind deflector too. Very nice. And then you have your garage home link course. Down here we also do have a little storage cubby and this is where you will find your USB port and your auxiliary input and a 12 volt power outlet. And then you have your dual cup holders right there, little storage pocket right there, your e-brake. And then your center console lid is nice and soft touch, decent quality. And down there you will find another 12 volt power outlet and a decent amount of center console storage. Now one of the biggest things about the new Passat here is that you can finally get optional high-end safety technology. 
that wasn't available in the 2012 through 2015 models and it was getting pretty dated but now you can get blind spot detection with the rear cross traffic alert how we have here and then the adaptive cruise control and then ours also has the front assist with the autonomous emergency braking finally it's up to date with the safety technologies now coming to the climate controls very simple clean looking layout with pretty good looking buttons that are pretty good quality too they feel high quality and then I love how they didn't go with touch sensitive buttons here pretty big knobs and buttons though we do have dual zone automatic climate control you have your temperatures right here for the driver then for the passenger then you have your fan speeds in the center right there your different zones recycling and heated seats three staged the infotainment system and multimedia interface have also been completely redesigned for the 2016 model year and this is Volkswagen's latest infotainment system and it's much better than the old touchscreen interface that the Passat used to have. The graphics and the rendering are superb on this system and the responsiveness is excellent too. And you'll find Apple CarPlay on this new system as well as Android Auto too. Now what I love about this system is that you can kind of work it like a tablet, like these presets here to select your presets, to switch between them you go like this. It's pretty cool, it works just like a tablet. Now your different sources for your radio do include all of the normal AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, we also do have HD radio, and then you also do have iTunes tagging too. Now coming to your different media sources, your different media sources also includes all of the norm. You have your auxiliary input, two USB ports with iPod integration, Bluetooth streaming audio, two SD card slots, and then your CD player. And then your optical disk drive is also located right here. Coming to your phone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, have all of your contacts stored on here. Right here you have your voice recognition as well, or you could do it by the button on the steering wheel too. Coming to the nav button right here, you have to actually have an SD card inserted to work the navigation system and then when you click on info that basically reveals like your fuel prices weather traffic all that good stuff coming to menu right here basically this is like kinda like your main, main menu and then you can work this like a tablet when switching between the different menus and then coming to app connect right here this is where you will find your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay and then you have the mirror link too as well. And then you have your images right here. Coming to setup, there's many different system settings that you can change of course like the language, display, voice operation. Bluetooth settings, system information, all that good stuff. Overall, love this new infotainment system and multimedia interface. It's certainly one of the best in the business now. Now, one thing I always loved about the Passat is that they added this analog clock, and it gives it this really elegant feel inside of here. It feels a lot more expensive than it really is. Really nice touch there. The seats in the Passat are also fairly comfortable decent amount of support on the side bolsters nice support is excellent too um, I wish they were a little bit more plush but overall I would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip another strength of the Passat is how roomy it feels inside of this cabin now the EPA classifies this as a large car now not a mid-size sedan but it competes with many mid-size sedans but this is a very roomy cabin inside of here now coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster, we have full instrumentation for your gauges. Now you have your coolant temperature down there, your tachometer, and then we have your speedometer and your fuel gauge down there. Coming in the center right there, this is controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel. Shows you various amounts of vehicle information like your digital clock, exterior temperature readout, and your trip odometer. Gives you your fuel range. There's settings that you could change on here too from the language, the convenience, lights and vision, times, no tires, units, service, you could change your assistance if you want them on or off like the rear cross traffic alert or blind spot or the front assist. Shows you your adaptive cruise control right here which ACC stands for adaptive cruise control. 
Then you have your audio, shows you what radio station is playing. You could change your media source from here, which is pretty cool. And then the Volkswagen navigation shows you turn by turn directions. Your phone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone and then make a phone call from here too. Overall, this information center is pretty nice. Um, I wish this information center was a little bit more vibrant looking. I wish it was their higher end information center, but it works pretty well. It does what it needs to do, which is the most important thing. The best part about driving the Passat is certainly the 1.8 liter turbo four cylinder. It's incredibly fuel efficient while being reasonably powerful too. And it's certainly top of the class when it comes to its fuel efficiency. Now also, the steering and the handling on the Passat is very responsive. It's predictable. You can feel for where this vehicle is trying to go, which is the most important thing. Is it the sportiest midsize sedan in the class? No, it's just pretty average when it comes to its handling and steering. If you are looking for more engaging to drive vehicles, then I would go with the Mazda 6 or the Ford Fusion. With that being said, the ride quality is still very comfortable in the Passat and it soaks up bro bumps very well and it's subdued. Overall, the driving dynamics should fit most consumers pretty well. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. One thing I love about Volkswagens is that the trunk opens all the way up. Which is a nice little nifty feature to have if your hands are full. Now the rear seats do fold down in the Passat 60-40 split. Trunk space is pretty good, it's pretty large. Not too shabby. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear, still excellent. So have nice soft touch materials on the armrest, mid door panel, and the upper door panel. And you also do have a power door lock switch back here. Now like I said, the Passat is the roomiest mid-size sedan in the class. I have the seat all the way back and I still have a decent amount of leg room to spare. Headroom is also excellent too. If you're looking for the most room for a mid-size sedan, the Passat is definitely the choice. Now back here you'll also find dual map pockets and then heated rear seats which is really nice and then you have your USB port back here too. That's where your second USB port is. And then you have your wrist on an armrest with cup holders. The seats themselves are also pretty comfortable and pretty well supportive. Overall, it's a very pleasant experience back here. However, some competitors, a lot of them, do offer panoramic sunroofs. Now, like the Chrysler 200, Kia Optima, Hyundai Sonata, all those vehicles. All right. Full manual passenger seat, manual recline, glove box compartment, nice and damp. So the 2016 Volkswagen Passat moves back to being an excellent choice for a 2016 midsize sedan with its incredibly fuel efficient and powerful powertrain, its cavernous interior space, and its slick infotainment system. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.